Hello all, this is Nori from My Service Depot. Please note that the content you are about to view is meant as a generalization of the smart service job process as a whole. It is not directed at any specific industry or your company's personalized process. However, by learning the basics of smart service, we hope to give you a head start on our software. This series will be divided into five segments to ensure the best learning experience. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give us a call at 888-518-0818. You might also consider reviewing our process-specific tutorials at smartservice.com forward slash webinar. Or if you are interested in purchasing additional live training, please let us know. In this video, we're going to cover the process of creating work orders for our customers. You can start a work order from the customer's record or from the scheduler. Since I'm already on the scheduler, I'll show you how to get started there. When working from the schedule, click and drag to select the time you'd like the job to be done, right-click your selection, and choose the New Job option. This will open a small version of the contact search screen and allow you to search for the customer or location you wish to create a job for. Click on their name to select them and Smart Service will give you a job name. It's important that you leave this job name alone for now and click OK to continue. At this point, Smart Service will open up a new job record and allow you to enter the information you have about the job. All of the default information I have added to our customer or location record has defaulted to this job upon creation. This information can be changed for this job in particular if needed, but that shouldn't be required often. For this job, I'll leave the general information as it is. Remember, if any of the fields on your screen are yellow, your company has required that you fill out this information. If you're unsure of what information to enter, consult your management staff or training coordinator. The Instructions tab is where you can record any notes about what the field employee needs to accomplish. This could contain instructions or possibly symptoms the customer has described. I'll make sure to click this clock icon to timestamp my note and then fill out some information for what the field needs to know. These job instructions are public and will appear to the customer on their work order if you or your iFleet user decides to give the customer a copy of that work order. Please keep that in mind when you're writing these instructions. Also, in the Job Items tab, the next tab over, you can add notes for each line item if you prefer to explain what the customer needed on their invoice instead. Most users will skip this section for now, especially if they don't know what exactly the customer needs yet. You can always add line items to the job from iFleet or when the job comes back from the field, so you don't need to worry about this now. However, if you're setting up a preventative maintenance job or if your company has a trip charge, you might have line items you want to add to the work order now. I recommend you click on the binoculars icon here to open your keyword search, then type to search for the item you're looking for. Double click on the item you want to add and it will be added to your work order. If you need to make any adjustments to the item, you can do so now. As a dispatcher, the third tab you will need to use is the scheduling tab. To quickly schedule this job, click on this scheduling wand icon here. The wand will open up a mini version of your scheduling board, allowing you to see what times are available for what field employee. The mini scheduler works exactly the same as the main scheduler, so pick an employee or a department, choose a date, and schedule the job accordingly. When you're ready, click Save at the top right. This will bring us back to our job record. If there are no further changes that need to be made to this job before we dispatch it to the field, choose the Save and Close option at the top right-hand corner. You've successfully created and scheduled a job. Smart Service will automatically dispatch this information to your field employees in a few moments. The next segment in this series will cover how the field users can use iFleet to record information and send it back to the office for review. If your business has completed your initial training classes, we recommend you review the videos of those training classes for a personalized version of the contents contained within this quick start guide. Our next installment in the series will be covering iFleet. If you're looking for in-depth process tutorials, visit us at smartservice.com forward slash webinar.